So this GoPro that we're recording with, guys, has 70% battery, right? I mistaken it for this. This is my old GoPro I haven't used in months. And it still has 40% battery. Hmm. Seems like the old stuff's batteries just last a lot longer. Anyway, today's video, let's get you guys mounted somewhere real quick. Today's video is what to do if someone steals your hard hat. Um, two things went missing in Florida from all I know. If you guys don't know, we went down and helped with the hurricane. Um, my hard hat went missing and my boots went missing. All I can say is the hard hat and the boots were in the bed of the truck because the cab of the truck was filled with all of our other stuff. So yeah, so I lost uh, a hard hat and boots. And so what you do is you get a new hard hat. So this is from Bates Old Supply. Um, you know, I like my black hard hats. I wore one of these all summer long. And then I really, the kicker was, this, the big kicker was uh, the Cena was missing because it was on the hard hat. So I got new Cena. I want to show you guys an unboxing of the 33i. The I is standing for industrial. Um, I've also emailed Cena before um, and I've talked to people because um, I was so sick of the Cena's just breaking all the time. And I emailed them. I'm like, let me help you guys develop a new Cena. Let me get you guys, I'll, I'll field test it, whatever. I don't want a free one. I just want a good one. Um, and they actually emailed me back and said, We've already made a new one. It's coming out soon. Can't wait for your feedback. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm a little late to the show. So the 33i. Let's see it. So I already opened it. That's usually how these reviews go. Maybe we get you guys like this. Oh, no. That's okay. So box, foam. Here is the Cena itself. I wish I had it only to show you guys the differences. So here's the scene itself. So it has a rotary dial for something. I think that might be volume. I didn't look into them too much. I just know these are the ones for tree guys. Um, the antenna pops up. You push it out and it pops up and you push it back in. Um, it has a mesh. Mesh is awesome, guys. You really need, any scene that needs mesh because instead of holding and pairing and then, all right, you beep out, I'll beep in. No, you just hit mesh, boom, channel one. Everyone's on channel one within about you know, a quarter mile radius. They say a mile. I don't know about these ones, but my old ones did not go a mile. They went about half a mile. And that might be an open road, you know, because these are kind of for motorcyclists. So I'm, I was a little bit disappointed to see this, but I might not be. I was like, oh man, these plug-in style ones. I don't like having them like this. So the battery is in here. I believe. Don't quote me. I'm new to this. So the battery should be in here. So you plug it in. And I was always like, man, what this thing's gonna come apart. Um, I can't imagine this just flying out. I mean, like look, it's flimsy. You know, it's plugged in. Well, no, you do doofus. They have a little silver lock. So stick it in. No, nope. it has rails. Hold this lock and then you push it. And now it can't come out. And another thing is, you know, I was trying to open this. You actually don't pull it open. You actually unscrew it with an Allen head and then it clamps down onto your helmet. So I was like, okay, now we're talking. One of the biggest upgrades you see is the thicker wires. So they have probably doubled the thickness of the wire. Um, I would say double would be a healthy amount. I think double is exactly what they did. Me personally, why not go a little bit farther? Um, I have a charging cable here that's braided. Why not just go with something thicker, personally? I don't know. These might just be enough, but why? You know, no one ever complained about having something built a little too tough. So there's that. You know, especially with having a, a history of having um, bad cables and, come on, especially with having a history of having bad cables and having broken cables and wires and stuff, why not just go one more step? Here's another thing I don't like, the earmuffs, the, ear, the microphones. Why do we have these 
push and click in style. Why can't we get like a screw style, like a coax cable or something like your cable? Why not? I mean, like if I made these, that's what I would be using personally. Now these might be okay. These might not be okay. Who knows? Um, comes with like your muffs and your booms and stuff for your mics. I have a whole pile of these. A new mic. Uh, my mic actually was bad on my old one, so that's good to have a new, an extra spare. Booms, 3M Velcro. Um, you have a different lock for the back, I believe. So yeah, that's the 33i. I'm gonna put on my helmet and show you guys how it looks, how it works. There is no, oh no, there is an Allen head. Cool. All right, that's the box. It's a very nice box, I might keep this box. I keep my other same boxes because they're just sturdy. So, that's how mine looks installed. I guess that would be actually all the way installed like that. So I put them on the back left corner, just how I've always liked them. Um, this clamps down very tight, so this is uh, not going anywhere. So that's good. Um, I might put Loctite on there just for redundancy. Run the wires on the back. I put my mic in the earmuff. Because the, the wires are isolated under the muff. I used to put them here. Well, I put them here now. Um, it's nice. I mean, all the functions all the functions of the helmet still work. Uh, collapsing this left ear does not work. All right, so almost all the functions work. Uh, that's how it looks like when it's on. So your mic's just right here. So the wires are buried. So, you know, it's not really any wires sticking out. So, all good. Um, definitely, if you're going to buy this, look up how to use it. This is the volume, which is nice, you know, because I've always had issues with, um, like, phone calls coming in super loud and you just got to turn them down. But the center button doesn't do a whole lot. Well, no, it does everything. No, the mesh button does a lot. Well, hold on. There's, like, two mesh buttons. That might be why I'm getting confused. There's one there and one there. But to turn it on, you, you hold, or is it this one? I don't know, you, you, you'll, you'll, you'll figure it out. So yeah, I mean, the wires are thicker, that's nice. Um, I don't know, I have to test it out in the field, but so far it seems like this is definitely a step in the right direction. Um, the price of them too is intriguing. I think it's like 250. So for the fancy scene, now they might have limited some certain options, which would be sweet because I don't want all these certain options. So if this is limited on options, that'd be nice um, because I don't want all the options of all the scenes. I just want something to listen to my music on my phone. I want to be able to pair with my guys and talk to my guys. That's all I need to do. That's all almost any tree service needs to do. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this helps you inform on buying the 33i.